Hi guys, today I'm going to do something completely different. I'm not doing resin today. Today I'm going to do some decoupage. So I have this, um, the Kraken bottle, an old Kraken bottle. So I'm going to do a sea theme because Kraken comes from the sea. So I've decided to use these images. So a galleon, um, an old what 16th 17th century boat um oh it actually tells you what it is there aerial it's a tea clipper from 1865 now um this napkin is copyright free if it was copyright then um i would be doing this for personal use because it's um copyright free um, once I finish the product, I would be able to sell it if I wanted to. Um, I'm not sure if I will or not. Um, that just depends on how it comes out and whether I like it or not enough to put on display in my home. So I'm going to use this one and this one that has these seashells on. Hope you can see these okay i think i need to invest in the light don't i guys um so yeah so i'm going to do that first things first though i have to paint this um so to paint it i'm going to use some a, a tester pot emulsion um this color is oat cake it's a johnson's a johnston's Johnstones, yeah, Johnstones. It's a Johnstones tester pot, um, and I thought it would be the ideal colour. Um, it is mainly just a, a background colour, so um, hopefully, people's eyes will be on the image rather than on the paint. I haven't opened this one yet, but that's fine. Let's take this off. Okay. Right, I'm going to put a glove on because it can get a bit messy. Now, when you um, paint something like glass, um, it's a good idea to actually add a little bit of PVA glue to the paint. Um, it gives it a little bit more um, stick to the bottle and um, just find a cup, a spare cup, okay, um, makes it stick to the bottle better. Um, let me just use a stick. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to need so I'm just going to put a couple of scoops of paint in there to start with got the top on so it doesn't go dry there we go and i've got my pva glue here just a little tiny bit you don't need too much that's about enough and just give it a bit of a mix i probably put too much glue in there actually but that's fine that's fine I think it's made the paint a little bit lighter actually. I'm gonna have to put a little bit more in. So I put too much glue in. And I don't want to be stuck. Oh, I'm sure I've got way too much paint in there. Um, I don't want to be stuck halfway around the bottle with not enough paint that's the right colour because that will look silly if it suddenly changes shade halfway round. Right, so that's my paint sorted out. Just get a wet wipe. Just wipe that off a second. 
okay now you can use a paintbrush but often paintbrushes leave streaks on glass so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a makeup sponge it's just an ordinary makeup sponge from poundland um it came in a pack like this Oops. in a pack like this you get quite a few of these little triangle ones um these ones are okay but the paint does tend to come through the sponge so you get it all over your fingers but there's there's pink triangle the ones in there and the white ones that you can use so there's plenty and for just a pound um that's really good so right let's start us off so i'm going to do a little bit just to show you how i do it um i tend to stop at the neck because um normally just here because then the top i usually put like some jute twine or something there um but because this bottle has the cracking um kind of inlaid into the bottle i'm actually only going to paint up to this line that's just underneath can you see that line i'm just going to do it up to there so i have to try and be and i just dab it on like this so you can have a big blob but then dab it down but be very careful at the line I mean you could put some just a, a piece of twine or something just around that bit just to make it look a little bit neater if you want to so what what we'll be doing it won't only be just one coat I put one coat on dry it um, pop another coat on will probably end up doing maybe three or four coats depending on how well this covers so so that's how you do it just dab it on with the sponge those little bubbles that come up they'll they'll disappear or you can go over them very gently and tap on top and they'll disappear okay so I'm going to go away, finish this. Um, I'm going to dry the paint using my heat gun, um, which is very noisy. It's a bit like a hairdryer um, and it just dries the paint quickly so I can get on with it. So I will see you in a, in a sec, guys. I'm just going to do the two or three coats, maybe three or four coats for this, and I'll be back with you. OK, so i've done three coats on this um it looks pretty well coated there might be a few areas where i might I'm not quite coated enough but that's absolutely fine because the images will cover those areas up anyway so so you put your bottle to one side for a moment and then you get your image out now when using these images um I like to <clears throat> just cut the square. If if your images are in squares like this, I like to just cut one square off so I'm only working with one piece and there isn't an image on the back that I might cut through. Okay. So I want this image to go on this bottle. Um and I'm going to use a water pen. Um, they're quite cheap. You could get them in places like the Range, um, the Works, I, I believe, sell them. Um, you just fill them with water, screw the ta uh, top on. It's like a, li a little brush at the top. Um, and then what you want to do is go around your image and you slightly squeeze here. You don't need to squeeze too much. Um, it's really good if you can just kind of go around the image like that maybe i'm going to take some of the c pop that in there as well 
because we want a rough edge because a rough edge will kind of blend in a bit better than a smooth edge would okay so now you've gone round it with a water pen then you can just gently tear it make sure you're very gentle with this part because you don't want to um, damage your image that you want to use it comes away quite easily oh, I'm getting quite close to the image here so let's break that a bit further apart I meant a bit further away <laughs> okay nearly done I'm now thinking maybe I should have done the bottle in a blue colour. Never mind. Okay, so so you've got I've got my image. Now what I want to do is take the other layers away because I only want the top layer. So this is a free ply. I lick my fingers or dampen your fingers somehow. Um, do that on the um, tissue and as you part your fingers hopefully the two layers will come apart then you're left with the image oh, that you want and you can keep these parts for I don't know background stuff or anything or if they're big enough I tend to put them in a pile and use them for tissues um, but yeah I tend to try and keep everything and reuse it instead of wasting things so so you have your bottle um always a good idea just to put something there to stop it rolling so put a lolly a lolly stick under that side actually i'll pop, pop a lolly stick under that side too that would just stop it rolling Okay, and, and I've got it in the right position I want it. Now, let's see. It only just fits from top to bottom, which is absolutely fine. And that is exactly where I want it. So you position your image, then um, paintbrush. Then use a paintbrush. Um, and some PVA glue um, I always pop a little bit of water in with my PVA glue so you can use just normal PVA glue the stuff they um, sell for crafting like in pound shop or the works or the range anywhere like that um, they use this in schools so just normal PVA glue a little touch of water just to thin it up a bit and then I will smear it where I want my image. Doesn't matter if you you um, smear a, a bigger area. Try not to put too much glue on there. Um, don't worry if you get it up there, you can wipe that off. Um, yeah, try not to put too much glue like too thick a layer because if you do that you might end up tearing your napkin when you put it on okay so that's that's good right now i'm going to position now this will this is tricky because it will stick as soon as you put it down i always run my finger up the middle of the image because as soon as tissue gets wet, it starts to um, warp and ex expand and wrinkle. So you need to either be quite quick. You need to pop a bit of glue on your brush. Be very gentle, very quick and um, pop the glue on the top. Try and work from the middle out words I've already got a couple of wrinkles there there are a few wrinkles even the best of us get wrinkles 
it can't be helped can't be helped at all so start there work my way out try you can slightly lift if you're finding there's a lot of wrinkles you can lift it up again and brush it out but be careful i think i'm gonna have to put up with that wrinkle there it is right on the sail so that might hide the fact that there's a wrinkle there okay so your image is on you put a layer of glue over it <coughs> then get some cling film or in the us i believe you call it saran wrap um or you can use um a piece of flimsy acetate i think i believe it is um like the bags that you um like freezer bags um food bags pop it over the top of the image making sure it's quite tight as tight as you can make it oh i think I'm, oh, i hope i haven't torn that it can be very difficult you can lift it up and and try and place it again but do that and just smooth out the edges try and smooth those wrinkles out if you do little circles sometimes you can get rid of the wrinkles there we go just ever so gently don't rub too much in one spot because you can still damage the tissue underneath if you do that i've done that so many times so, so hopefully that's as smooth as i can make it then very gently and i mean gently see that that bit up there just lifted when i did this very gently pull this away And there you have your image. There you go, guys. It's not very... Can you see that? I must admit, it's not very light in here. I'm going to have to work on that. But there you go. So then when you've done that, use a heat gun or even a hairdryer and just dry that off i'm going to do that now i'm going to put you on pause and do that okay okay so i finished putting on the rest of my decals so i've put shells on now i accidentally hit a spot of the paint here and it um the paint come off so there's a tiny little hole there um so what i've decided to do it was on the elbow is i've cut out a little um a little image of a uh, shell a little tiny shell and i'm just going to pop some glue over over that bit this is how you hide your mistakes well, you can't one way you can hide an error just pop that over the top make sure it's stuck down it's going to be a bit loud guys just dry it There you go, and the hole's gone. Can you see that? Just thinking maybe I should put something there. I have to have to think about that. But there's a bottle as it is at the moment. So what I would do next is um, 
I'd leave it for a few hours just to fully dry properly um, and once it's cured once the glue and everything is dry and cured properly I will coat it with some decorators varnish now I use this one it's polyvine decorators varnish um, I buy this from Amazon this one here um, I think this one yeah this one is water and stain resistant um, you put two to three coats on it's for interior or exterior and it has a UV film protection UV film protection as well so it's very thin it's like a almost as thin as water um, you coat your bottle and then um, or, or the vase or anything that you've decoupaged um, making sure each coat is dry in between um, I always use the heat gun to do it you can leave it to dry obviously that does take a lot longer um, so I will be back with you in a little while I'm going to leave this for an hour just to set and then I'll come back and put the varnish on okay hi again guys okay so it hasn't been quite an hour but that should be okay so oh, I'm just going to use this varnish straight out of the pot and give this a good coat it goes on really easily and it spreads spreads really well it takes no time at all just to put one coat on Okay, let's go around the top. And then some on the bottom because I did paint the bottom guys as well. Okay, right. I'm going to pause you again. I'm going to use the heat gun to um, dry each coat. I'm going to do three coats and then I will be back with you. Okay, so I finished the three coats and dried them. Um, so the bottle itself, the painting and the actual decoupage is complete. But what we would need to do now is try and hide this line. Now I've got some dupe twine so I'm going to try uh, let's find the middle and I'm going to turn the bottle round and I'm going to pop a little bit of glue just around that middle area just to hold tiny little bit just to hold the twine um, it's not going to cover this bit up but you could use um, a hot glue gun to do this if you have one So I think I've gone right round. There we are. Right, so I've got the middle of the, the twine, which I'm going to put just at the glue point. Hopefully that should stick. Just turn it round. And then 
bring it around the front, cross it over, and then try and make sure that it's as close to that line as possible. I need to bring that down a bit, I think. And then bring it around the back, cross it over again. Push this down a bit. It's all pushed down. That's it. Bring it around to the front. Now you can add a little, um, a little charm or something to this, but um, I don't have any. So, I mean, you could dangle a little charm from it. Um, oh, I'm just hoping I can do this. It's not too loose. Uh -oh. I might dab a bit of glue there just so it holds it. Just there. Just make sure it's tight. It doesn't matter if it's off centre a bit, it just kind of adds to the charm. Make sure the glue's pushed down. And then just see if I can. If not, I could just just leave it like that. I do another knot actually. I could do a reef knot. So that's it. That'd be a bit more fitting. And it'll lay flat against the bottle. There we go. And then I can just trim the edges off. There we go. Make sure it's down. show you what I was doing then I'm just making sure the twine's down can you see that guys let me take you outside there's still quite a bit of sunlight turn you around take you outside to have a look oh at the bottle there we go now then I'll just use my motorbike as a as a prop. There we go. There we go. Fabulous. And if you want, you could put some twine around the top, some ribbon in the sides, anything you like, guys. So don't forget, um, in the description below, there are some links that you could look at. Um, there's Buy Me a Coffee, uh, Amazon Wishlist, and a Timu link. And 
don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for when I post some new videos. Um, this is the first time I've done decoupage, guys, on on the video. Not not the very first time I've done it. 